Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Sunday. So very happy to be here for what number show is it? 3,193 today. And continuing our crate crust and chain challenge. Look at our PBs right now. It's like 736. Only done a few runs of this in Cosmic Ocean. Uh, essentially a, a challenging, more challenging set of rules for Spelunky. As if the game wasn't hard enough already. Let's get all the family in chat and your wonderful support. They'll play some penguin in the hole and kick off the daily and beyond. What's up, Rudigo? Nutty Buckeye, good to see ya. Hey there, Cranston. That's good. Funky Gornilla. Brandlore, Night Gecko, Chemo Nerd. Hey there, I'm Pissed. Tavi893, Beef Jerky, Yum. Lars is Sailor. Breakfasty. Good Melody Bunny. Splology. Mikazu, Qualt, Funky Gornilla, and all the other cool early people. All right. It is time for some penguin in the hole. Penguin in the hole. Penguin to the moon, you wouldn't, sir. Penguin to the moon. Penguin 180, turn around, chair sit down. Here we go. I was distracted by cats. That was their fault. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Nice high tech. Glad your cat's enjoying it. What cuter patooters. All right, back into the game then. All right, we're all warmed up. Let's get uh, headed in some pink. I think when the hole's done, let's get headed into the daily here. It's happening. a really nasty opener. It's really easy to get hit by. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, okay. Yeah. That was uh, pretty harrowing. I've actually never seen that configuration before with the spikes next to the spike pit. Hmm. A little bit of a plan here. Need this torch, though. Later, Tater. All right. Taking a torch into our dark level. Morph. Oh, please don't hit the turkey. Okay, we cooked the turkey on accident. That's fine. Yeah. 
Do 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 Not gonna pick up the turkey here because it is a non-random enemy item. But like we picked up the turkey there, it's no big deal. It's going to not and verbalize that. All right. Kali Ma. Okay. It's turkey and mole. I guess the puppers fell down too, huh? Interesting. Oh, I bet the puppers got turned in. Okay, well, I got a plan here. It's tough. Okay, so I'm going to push this in a little bit. Oh my god, this mole. This mole right here. Listen up, bud. Killed the turkey. Whoops. Well, it's not nothing here. I definitely get yang on the sacrifice here, too. It cost me a rope, but I'm kind of tempted, you know? No? Oh, it doesn't turn. No? Okay. Well, I'm leaving then. And that's fair. So I could have used a rope there to bop Yang onto the shrine. And let us check Turkey Town, which would have been cool, but, you know, not meant to be. die down there? Oh, he did. That's tough. Um, yeah. Didn't mean for him to go down there, but that's how that's how it turned out. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of bungled this a little bit. Maybe I just wait on the shrine and use use a rope on the key here. I think so. Though very rightfully I could have just used the body there. Next shrine it is. 
Ooh, perfect toss by Jay here. That's nice. All right, then, moving along. Yo, Great Rain, thanks for 115 months. Five more for that decade 120. Thanks, man. Thanks for always being an awesome part of this channel and community. Appreciate you. Might as well do this. Pretty low chance for a skeleton key, but it is one of our chances for items. Squeaker men's on this side. That's good. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's right, Zidane. Getting skeleton key in the bone pile ensures we don't have that happen on uh, the Kali Shrine. It's true. There's a chance at a higher priority item. Okay. What is this exactly? Kali Ma is what this is. Okay. Hmm. I don't push this block out, I can't really come back, so that spike shoes are good. Shoes in the jungle are definitely acceptable. Dun, 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 dun. As long as there's a way back up here. Okay, well... I mean, I don't think we're that close, but I'm still gonna drop this body off. Ooh, we are close. Kapala get. Very nice. There's a back layer entrance here, which is tempting, but uh, even if it is like a ton shop, I can't uh, buy anything there because of our challenge rule set. So we're just going to move along. Actually, a really gross spot for a witch doctor. Okay, black market entrance is around here. Where at, though? Okay, directly below the sister. Right here? Can I climb back up here? Looks like I can. Uh, not quite. Okay, it's fine. We're just gonna buy the Hadjeet and get on out of here. Hey, nice of you. Congrats on your uh, victory in Splunky HD. That's awesome. Okay, crate down there and bow. Scene. We already have Hadjeet, so we get a lot better vision in this room. It's a better chance of extracting all of the crates out. 
You cats are spicy today. What's up with you kidders, huh? Dun, dun, dun. Almost tarp myself down here. Just checking. All right, so that's the remaining stuff. No other items. Getting ropes here is pretty nice, though. Matt, see if I can hit the top block from here. Yeah, okay. It's a tough, uh, tough matic, but fair. Yeah, that's right, Patrick. The uh, pace drops 100% of the time from the spider, so it's therefore not a random drop. You got it. Spot on. Yep, that's exactly it. Fire Spectre is your items that are in the ground. This is the crust. Okay. Well, that's enough of that level for me. Bow in hand. fell down and then I died. Wow. GG. Fair enough. That's how Spelunky be. All right, let's head into a non-daily run here. A pretty challenging seed for our stuff. There was a jetpack early, so... Most uh, daily players have a jetpack there, which would certainly be helpful. Tough, uh, tough seed for our particular challenge. Okay, here we go. Yeah, at least that plant got well fed. That's fair. That's fair. I heard Hamter. Yes, I did. Yo, Jay Lang, thanks for 115 months. Thank you. Oh, by the way, here in less than a week, we're going to have like uh, almost 40 new animated emotes. That's awesome. Can't wait to start uploading those in a few days here. Got all the previews now. It's pretty, uh, pretty great. All right. Well, this is a really tough toss. the dwelling cool that broke the bone pile so we're not going back there
Huh. Okay, so... We're not rescuing both turkeys. That's fair. Yeah, that's a tough one. Hmm. Hmm. Guess that's the level then. Okay. All right, we got ropes to start. Not bad, not bad. What's in here? I somehow like get back up to Turkey Town from this location. No, okay. Turkey punch. Bring it on, you oversized turkey. Yo, skeleton key, nice. So that is a randomized drop, so drop from the bone pile. Nice knowing you, turkey dude. Listen here, bud. Ice. All right, glasses are very weak on the list because um, glasses are already found because we have the Ujan Eye. But it is a randomized drop, so it's things like that are going to happen. Now, the key can drop from any bone pile, but it's a very low chance, like 1 in 500, something like that. So, uh, quite randomized. Okay, cool store, dude. Okay, I hear pepperoni, and I believe I can make it back to the shrine here, so I will. Just a nice stone-cold doggy bed for that, Puppers. Messed up. Wow. Don't steal a bomb, thanks. Don't steal a bomb, thanks. Tried to steal a rope. What a monster. Um, alright. Well. This is gonna be weird. How am I gonna fix this up here? Got a plan. There it is. You've been himky bamboozled, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, the uh, the spider webs being in that location really does uh, make that difficult. Uh. Okay, here we go. Okay. Black market's right below us. I see the entrance in that little block. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Take a little peek. Oh, I have skeleton key. Okay, here we go. All 
All right. Easy one to spot there. We're only buying one item here in the black market. That's Hajit. That's the chain item, so we can go... Uh... Oh, interesting. I have never seen the black market drop down into the helping hand station. That's really uh, peculiar. There's a crate right there. Do, 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 do. Even more ropes. More ropes than you can throw a rope at. Let me tell you, just did. I learned the hard way too, Espere. It's true. I got uh, almost 2,500 hours between the Spelunky series HD and this one. Actually, more than. What is my hour count for Spelunky right now? Yeah, 1,400. That's right. 2,400 between the two. And honestly, arrow whipping is a pretty new technique for me. At least to be reliable with. Yo, Vogon PT, thanks for 29 months. Appreciate that continuation very much. Okay, that's unfortunate, but fair. I think I can still make this crate. shoot. Fair enough. There's one down here, which is unlikely to get to, but I'll still try. Not totally out of the question. No. Okay. pack in the wall, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, we got your race car driver. Hunter more sounds grand. Yo, Sauce Hunter, thanks for 22 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I mean, that's tempting, but I'm thinking, like, what I can actually do with the telepack here. It's not all that much. It was a little bit later, I might. Just not quite at a moment where that makes sense, I don't think. I'm not going to worry too much about sacrifices here. I have, um... I'm going to have to lose my life for the Ankh anyways, so uh, building up a massive health resource isn't as helpful as it might seem. Boy, there's some bodies on this level. I'm going to look over here real quick. Yo, Spike52, thanks for 95 months. Five more for that hundo. And Hicks FD 398 thanks for six months of Prime. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. A 
Just gotta use one more bomb here. All right, no crates, fair enough. We're right, gonna bring uh, Olmec a little further to the left than I normally do, because I want to use this gray block down here to uh, set this up. since we lack any mobility items such as spring shoes or double jump like we'd normally have, uh, we're going to have to get a little creative here and use this gray block. Okay, I need to grab this parachute. Actually, I don't because I'm wearing a parachute right now. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, we are down to one bomb now. It's a little sketchy. interesting with skeleton key because we could very easily get some items back here and they could be parachute and stuff any other items no no other items back here bear cheesy rice dude okay he's gonna teleport here in a second good enough really a peculiar layout I'll grab a one lad now. If we end up getting like an eggplant chance or something, having him a little more trained would be nice. That is unlikely happenings, but could. Oh, snap. Okay. Well, there is one here. Oh, man, it's going to be brutal. 
Brutal but fair. We'll try. Air? Bombs? <laughs> back to back to back parachutes? You kids in right now? You kids in? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Get this cleaned up now. Sir, no, don't play with the giant fish, sir. Sirs. Sirs. Sirs, please. Right, let's get this dude taking a nap again. Come on, man. Get up here. Get up here. Nap time. Nice one, dude. Okay, let's get this guy his uh, sword now. Down here, man. Really unsure if we're going to be able to do this or not. We need a really good spot to trap the helping hand. Look, there's one right here. Just like right here. Ish. I'm going to leave this here right now. Is he stuck? No? Uh, sir? Oh my god. You're supposed to go to sleep, sir. Maybe if I'm lucky, there's a skip back here. Where did I put the eggplant? Still up there? Okay, this has to go here. Could use my last bomb on this. Tarp him, but I think not. Go to sleep, please. Yo, Rathos, thanks for 54 months. Appreciate that continuation. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy asleep here. Okay, hold on. Oh, no, my eggplant's up here. That's fine. He's technically stuck right now. Like, he's supposedly sleeping. Where's the eggplant at? What? In the water, maybe? Wow, we made it with the eggplant. Crazy. All right, sir, kneel down. Time to receive the highest honor a helping hand can receive. I dub thee Sir Help. 
He helped me once today. It was awesome. No more help required. See you in the afterlife, partner. Bombs, hell yeah. Oh, snap. Last time I did this, I got chomped. I'm just going to use a rope here. It's like a really dangerous uh, segment slash jump. See what we got here? Smiling Wood Vortex. Smiling Wood Vortex. Oh, crap. Um, I just went the wrong way. Hold on. That was really bad. Crisis averted. She forgot I had parachute. There it is. Look in here real quick. Alright, not too bad. Uh, Happy Dangles, you can do exclaim CCC in chat to get all the details. But basically, it's Spelunky with a limited item rule set. Oh my god. I was not ready for that one. GG. We got lunked. A uh, quick restroom break and we'll hop right into another run. One moment.
All right, we have returned. Let's head into another run. That was a good one. The items weren't there, though. Like, uh, we didn't have uh, much bomb, rope, or other resources to work with, which was just part of this challenge. We just got to work with what we find. At least very consistently making it to, like, Neobab with the... on this rule set. It's definitely a change of pace, to be sure. Key then. All right, this could be tricky. I see the key down here. Hmm. Okay. Let's use one bomb, one rope then. At least we have a crate back here to, you know, check this out. You have to bomb from the top or bomb from the bottom. It's a lot easier to bomb from the top than it is to bomb from the bottom. We technically use a rope to get out here too and get the kitters, but uh, I think this is going to be a better idea. ready for that arrow. Boom. Parachute, is that four in a row? No, we got bombs in between. Four of our last five crates have been parachute. Okay. You know best, Lunky. You know best. I don't know if I'd say favorite, but Jay's my most used Spelunker by a bit. Wow, this really is a cursed urn. I had to go through four cobwebs to get to it. Yuck. It's so sticky. to see some ropes. Believe it. Dirk, 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 dirky. Whoa, that was, um, quite the fumble there, Mr. Turkey Mint. Alright, we're gonna be able to check out Yang's Turkey Town here. Cuckoo. What's Yang got in Turkey Town, you think? Cool stuff or not? Nah? That's a nah. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal a turkey. This is gonna make Yang's uh, shop not spawn inside the jungle. Fair enough. Thought I had that whip timing, but it was trickier than I thought. Fair. Yo, Proto, thanks so much for 18 months. Appreciate that year and a half. Thank you.
Shrine? Not Shrine. Okay, that was a very action-packed level there. Okay, let's just get this done. First step is to locate the bow. I also see an arrow trap here, which indicates there's going to be an item. That's nice. Oh, snap. Okay, well, I learned something there. Ooh, crate right here, too. Let's go. One health is uh, very scary. Two bomb bags. That is fortunate. We got here. Okay. Okay. Jetpack get. Jetpack's going to basically be the rarest item we can find. We also have exactly one health, so I'm mildly terrified. right there. Part of me wants to use a, use a bomb here to get a health. I think I might. Oh, no, it's two bombs right now. Never mind. Another sequestered kidders. Tough. Let's check over here real quick. The black market chance? No? Okay, no. Okay, here we go. What? <laughs> oh, I got bungled there. Fair enough. GG. One health caught up to me in the end. Um, I will bomb for this. One one item for one bomb. Let's see what it is. Three bombs. There was a good idea there, I just didn't uh, execute it properly.
I'd honestly prefer our first one on this isn't with a jetpack, but it's not like I'm gonna turn down a jetpack if we find one, because uh, it's, again, extremely, extremely rare occurrence on this challenge to find a jetpack. It has to be in the crust or in a crate, which are both unlikely. Mr. Mole, you're supposed to stay up here, bud. Hmm. Yeah, I, I would be willing to use a rope if there's a critter back here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get halfway to Kapala, so it's just not worth it. Alright, have a good one, Yang. Ooh, more shrine, cool. Alright, we need a bomb to get this key, that's fair. Also looks like this shrine might be um, sequestered here. We'll see about that. I'd rather my shrine be obscured than the... Uh... Oh, really? Okay, there's the key area. Extra resources required to get that is a tough sell for me. Don't technically need any ropes, Aventus. I usually use five for my technique, but you I have a way to do it that doesn't take any ropes. Looking for items. Ooh, cash drops pretty good here. So to do the ropeless version of Intus, what you do is uh, you on the very first laser, you jump on the ground, then you uh, fly up to the side and reset your jetpack fuel on the third tier of the uh, horizontal lasers. It's a little tricky, but honestly not that sketchy. I've just always done the rope techniques. I've always had the ropes when I get there, and that may change on this challenge. We'll see. At the very least, I understand how to do it. Yo, Jolly Roger, thanks so much for 99 months. One more for that 100 club. Thank you, dude. Amazing. It's a day right now.
Yo, Phoenix Captain, 46. Things for 85 months as well. 15 from that hunt. Cruising. Boom. Boom. Great. Great has ropes. Looking good. Black market's not here. The music change would happen in the back layer. Ooh. Scary level was scary. Okay, we hear the blip lamps right away. Where's it at then? All right. Tough, uh, tough bomb here. How do I want to throw this one? Like that. Yeah, entrance to the top level is not common, but it's not, um, it's not unheard of. Definitely one of the worst spawns that can happen. See if there's a crate over here. Nope. Don't worry, sir. Stay schleppy. Okay, getting no spike shoes or, or spring shoes, so I want to bring Olmec over a little bit. What right about here? Calm down, dude. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just take a nap, dude. It's no big deal.
Lamo. I'll free this guy too. We don't have any any points towards Kapala right now, so helping hands could be a huge service. And we don't have to grab the parachute because we have the yellow cape on already. Awesome. Shrine down here, okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Hoping I can get just get them down here when they wake up. That'd be nice. The hand down there too, huh? Kind of wondering if they're gonna come down here. There's one. Get down here, bud. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Crabs are worth zero points, but still cool. All right, this uh, this helping hand is gonna be enough for Kapala. Ooh, we got everything here in one convenient stop. looking. There's no shrine here. Fair enough. down over here.
I didn't see a shrine up top there, but considering four people corrected me as a question, I'm going to assume there was. side here. It'd be nice if we could get um something on the shrine here. No? Okay. Bear? Ooh, there's like another little side entrance. What is this? It's a really tough jump. Let's just go up this way. Simple Jade Band. Simple Jade Band. Every chat's great. Um, just to clarify what Prixie said, we don't have any backseat gaming rules, so you're more than welcome just to point out if I miss stuff or whatnot. Uh, that's all good. It is my strong preference that you don't correct me in the form of a question, though I do understand why that happens, and it's not like I'm going to get frustrated at you personally. It's just a very inefficient way to communicate what you're trying to say. Uh, just for example, uh, on the shrine we just missed, I said, I don't think there's a shrine on this level, and then a bunch of people said, wasn't there a shrine up top? And one person said, there was a shrine. Uh, and the person that said, there was a shrine, that's the most effective way to communicate, because then you're just telling me uh, the way it is. And the other way around with the question, then I have to reverse engineer what you're trying to ask, or trying to tell me based on the question you're asking, which is certainly not a problem, but it isn't very efficient. Uh, I think the reason this behavior uh, is so common is that many streamers have uh, extreme no backseat gaming rules, which is certainly their choice to run their channel. I used to have some of those myself. Um, so people ask things as a question for plausible deniability. Basically, like, I'm just asking a question, not telling you what to do. But it is uh, overall inefficient. And uh, the culture on some uh, backseat gaming channels with that is honestly humorous to me because it's very obvious that people are actually backseating but doing it in such a way that they can get around the rules. Which again is no sweat. I'm not uh, not uh, frustrated at all or upset with anybody. Just stating my preference because an unstated preference never becomes a reality. Yeah, for sure, Soth, for sure. That's definitely the case, too. That can happen just because somebody doesn't understand. That's totally fine. That's the reason I'm not frustrated, because uh, if I assumed everybody was backseating with questions, I'd be a very frustrated person. But I think we'll all do our best to communicate uh, what we're trying to say. And I think you all do an amazing job. Okay, there is the urn area.
Wow. Okay, well, not dead. That was spoopy, dude. Alright, what is our item here? Simple Jade Band. Yo, Crumbshot, thanks for 21 months. Appreciate that prime continuation. And Lowendorf, thanks so much for 60. Simple Jade Bat. Big humanitis moment right here. Yeah. Had to check again. There's Smiling Jade Bat. There's Simple Jade Snake. Simple Jade Onk. Hmm. I think he's got pinched there. Do you see that, guys? Scary. There's Tall Jade Bat. Where is this thing at? Is that it? There it is. Okay. The Sounds of Revelry. No revelry for us. Uh, the tablet information gets added to your logbook when you pick up the tablet on Kingu. Uh, other items are um, added as you find them in the game. Oh no. We okay here? Am I having to use a rope here? It seems like maybe. I'm just going to use a rope. I don't like it. Don't trust it. going up. Here we go. Here we go. Is this really a forced rope here? No, it's not. Hold on. Yeah. Tough, tough one here. Guess I can do this. That'll do it.
Yeah, the reason you don't want to use the um, Chilin on regular levels, it makes the hitbox much larger, so you're way more likely to lose the dog. Way more likely. Ooh, crate. Yo, ropes. Yeah, that's a good point, Corello. You have a lot more experience uh, with the Splunky character than the dog. True, the dog is very useful for some situations, though. I will admit. Mm. Darn. I find that to be a pretty tough one do this here. There's a rock right there. I'll do it. Interesting here. Oh my god. You've been squashed. Alright, before we do the Hundun climb here, our ads are about to start. It's gonna stay in a stretch real quick. Use the restroom, grab some water, flip this play thing so much to support a lot, if not totally understand. Be back in just a couple minutes for the continuation of this great crust and chain challenge run of Spelunky. Currently pitcher's mid and yellow cape.
All right, I'm back. It's like 20 more seconds here. Our PB for this challenge is like 736. We had an interesting yellow, or green glove run. This run has some legs, though, because it has the, uh, the yellow cape. Yellow cape allows us to... Allows us to float in between the levels, so we have a little uh, more mobility because of the cape. Not quite the same as having the, uh, the green glove, but pretty close and maybe safer in some ways. Yo, Wally6500, thanks for 40 months, man. Low and North, thanks for 60 as well. All right, here we go. It's happening. One tubular level. I'll give it to it. You got tubes, man. I agree. Cool tubins. That goofed here. I'll use a rope here. Clean this up as well. Do 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 do. Hey Shad Dad, thanks for 99 months. Enjoy your lurk. One more for that hundred club. Thanks. I goof here. I think I might have goofed here. It might be too far over. Now we're good. We're good. Only this a couple times, so we're still practicing this. Nice little pattern we got going on here. Okay, then I got hit. Spamming's not good enough. Fair enough. Oh my god, am I gonna die here? Okay. Interesting. Okay, I learned learned a little bit about the pattern on that one. So when the mouth is open, that means he's still moving forward, was my takeaway there. So you can only really stop whipping if he's um, retreating backwards. All right, here we are. Cosmic Ocean. Seven, five, only two health here. Let's uh, keep it cool. Seems like it'd be a good last orb for us. All right, that's a kidder's. Okay, I just heard a Crocoman go off. That's really nasty. Also seeing poison spit dripping through the sand, which is... Ooh. All right. Freaking huge level. Wow. 
There's the Crocoman. Listen here, sir. Don't be so wily. Ooh, that was my fault. Here he is. The B. Okay, yeah, we're never going over there. That does give me a point of reference on where we're at in the level, though. <laughs> this level's a real one, man. What a game. What a game. We're at 231 right now. Get out of here! Oh yeah, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Can we seriously not make that? That's pretty funny, you can't make that. Okay, fair enough. Three minute jelly is coming in right now. He is squashed. That was a pretty incredible experience. That's a nightmare opening level. No time to warm up to Cosmic Ocean, just that. Surely the next level will not be that difficult. Surely. Could be as deadly, but not as difficult. No way. Okay, that did explode. Nice. I haven't really seen the exit yet. Haha, <laughs> that was fun. Alright, I fell into a hole of my own design. That was my fault. Hmm. Uh-huh, yeah, something you can do. What a game. Hmm, where's this last orb at? Hey, it's ropes. Once you make it to Cosmic Ocean, if you're playing efficiently, there's usually enough crates to carry uh, bombs and ropes. As long as we get here with some. Where is this? Okay, it's got to be like on the left hand edge here towards the bottom. Maybe this level is just a lot bigger than I'm giving it credit for. Okay, po got popped. It was right there. All right, scene bottom left. That was it. Here we go. Woo! Now you guys are more than welcome to point out orbs. It's all good. I just missed that one. Apparently, that'll happen. Okay, fair. 
Well, that's an easy enough one to pop, anyways. Oh no. Mm, that could cause some issues. There's an area in the middle I haven't seen yet. Oh, it's just right here. Okay. I just heard an explosion. I'm gonna wait a second. There's the there's the exit. Here's orb three. That was a bad whip. That was a lot of explosion too. There could very easily be lava problems here now. Also, I'm more than a little bit scared of uh, spark traps. Only four health here. Two spark trap hits were done. There's the there's the last orb right there. Let's see what uh what enemies can drop items in Cosmic Ocean. We got Yetis, mosquitoes. Uh, Yetis can drop Pitcher's Mitt, Jang Shis can drop Spike Shoes and Spring Shoes. I think that's it for equipment. Mosquito is Hover Pack. Okay, no, it's not. Oh yeah. That's a doozy. I'm just gonna give that one a thunk. Keep it cool, Daddy-O. Well, that was dumb. Stupid is a stupid does. Here we go. Ooh, sniped. Impressive. <laughs> okay, drop down here. Somehow Sai could get through that, but it was incorrect. It's probably going around forever now. That's two, this is three right here? True. Oh my god, there's a crocom in there too? Dang, dude. I... That's worth a bomb and a rope to me. Pretty good last orb, maybe. Eh, 
Yeah, maybe not. There's a boomerang guy on this side. Boomerang guy on the other side as well. Hmm. Is this reachable? It is. It's fair. I think boomerang might actually be a good tool here. Boomerang overboard. Not wearing shoes, that's true. Oh man. That guy. Boomerang's pretty uh, fun to play with in Cosmic Ocean. Definitely allowable here. It has its upsides and downsides. It's not like it's a straight upgrade to the whip, but uh, in a low mobility situation, it does have a little more reach, and it's okay for farming blood out of enemies, too. Okay, we can pop this one and then pop over to the exit from it. Let's leave it there for now. Lost my boomerang there? Yeah. Okay. Later, Tater. Oh, don't go up there. Sir. I do not want you on the exit. I see now that I can't get out of here. So, that's, uh, that's something. Now we know. be able to lure this crab into popping this one for me. Do it. Do it. Alright, bud. You did your darndest. Nice try. Maybe next time. Plasma Cannon can only drop from crates. That would be a very epic find. I agree. Level's not very wide. Oh, I see a crate down there. You do. Oh, yeah. That's true. Not wearing shoes. Probably should be, being in a jungle and all. Is this the exit right here? It is. 
Jay with the trick shot. My man. Where'd you come from? I mean, this guy's got to go. He's not dead yet. Yoinks, but doinks. I guess this level's not huge. This guy's getting absolutely wrestled right now. Dang, man, that's tough. Crate was probably worth a bomb. I just see snake spit. No, I just saw a cricket. Okay, so now we're back to where we were before. Huh. Yeah, alright then. Okay, I see double snakes bit there. Ah, yikes. This looks like both the other orbs, though. This is feeling like a good rope to me. Yeah, we can deal with uh, her on the way back. Later, Tater. Ooh, what a level. Great. Later, Tater. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying playing Spelunky in this way. Yeah, it's nice to play with full equipment, too, and I love having uh, things like Jetpack and Vlods. Playing with less equipment makes you think about the game differently, which um, and a consequence of that is you just play the game better afterwards because you understand how to do more with less. Ooh, that was scary. Ooh, was that falling down permanently now? No, it hit the ground. Knowing how to do more with less just gives you more options for more um, situations. And a Splunky is a game that is full of situations. Oh my god, stop it. Oh, I'd really like that cleaned up here. Nice double kill J. That's a required bomb. Or maybe, uh, actually, we can bop this guy for it. Oh, that's the wrong way, partner.
Hmm. Check down here. Oh yeah, okay. I think that's got to be it's got to be the last one there. Do I have a way back up there? I do. I do. Okay, that one's getting popped. You've been squashed. a decent health opportunity. Okay, hold on. Uh. Later, Tainer. Alright, Boomerang's not as good here in Sunken Temple. Not even close. I'd like to take it with us, but I should put it down for now. A tough jump, huh? Even possible? Gotta be. Well, bomb, that's big time. That's big time right there. Thank you, Lunky. Plus 12. All right, I have an exit with an arrow trap here. Uh, what I'd like to do is get this frog going over the edge. This should uh, eventually activate the arrow trap, I'd hope. Oh, you fell down. Okay. That'll do it. Arrow trap went off with that grub. Okay, there's the arrow trap that went off next to the exit. Slower. Hey, Yamsies, thanks for 44 months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you, thank you. That's worth a bomb to me. Check it out. Especially now that we found that 12 bomb box. Oh, how sketchy is this, though? Pretty sketchy. I'm just going to take that damage. Okay. That might be reachable. We'll see. One. Okay. A lot of ladybug. Okay, there it is. So we can just carve into this with this thing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a situation. Seems reasonable.
Roasted and toasted. That's one, all right. It's a crate right there. A crate seems like we're not getting it. Unless. Yeah, maybe we are. Alright, goodbye, boomerang. It was it was fun. You did well. There's a crate on top here, too. Grab that. Not gonna push that in. That could be a bomb and kill us. Oh, man! The magical boomerang reappeared in the crate. Nice moves, Jay. How am I getting out of here? Okay. Hey there, KSWA. It's been a great one, yes. Very intense run for me, but uh, very enjoyable so far. This run is very much in the spirit of our, our challenge here. Doesn't actually make it back over. Thought I was making that jump for some reason, but not quite. Okay, I went too far. <laughs> okay, almost. I guess we'll just go from the other side, it's a lot safer. I had that route planned out, but wasn't it. Okay. Fair. Is that a orb I just saw up there? Okay. There's some shenanigan I can pull here with uh, pitchers, but I think so. That's a good idea. Maybe a rock would have made that. Or a boomerang. Jay with the trick shot. My man. Okay, Croco in the exit scene. This uh, seems to be a very big level. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay, no. I, I gotta put this boomerang down. I need the whip available if the crocos run into me here. This just got real.
boy howdy. Didn't want to use a rope there, but I sure did. I believe I made the right choice. That's fine. Get out of there before the grubs hatch. Okay. Since this mummy can fall off the edge, um, I don't. I don't want to leave it alive. But I also don't want to spend too much time here in the temple gathering hell. So we're going to stop at about 50 health, drop a bomb on the ground, get rid of this uh, this mummy. Okay, well, that's good to know, I guess. Probably gonna bomb here, too, then. I'm going to use a resource or, you know, several extra because we're, uh, we just gave a bunch of time to gain health with the mummy. Okay, this level does not look too bad. Definitely a pretty nasty cat location. I need something to throw at that. We're going to be fine on time. There's a rock. Well, 50 health is nice. I mean, we don't have to be as uh, health conscious here. We don't have to be, like, farming all of the blood, though. Certainly isn't a bad idea to do so. That could be bad. Or it could be real cool. There's all three orbs. Don't have a way up there right now. Spring shoes, 726. All right, well-earned spring shoes here. Uh, spring shoes even significant in this level, because now we can get back up to that. Uh, we can get to the section we're trying to get to. Big find. Is that right? I guess not. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a... Spike trap right here. There we go. Sprongs are very useful for dodging the jelly, too. It gives you a lot more um, 
ability to make the jelly go in a white arc. Also making me feel a lot more comfortable about our current rope count. Hmm. I get some information here first. Noted. Green shoes are definitely one of the top items we can get in this uh, this challenge for sure. Like green gloves, um, spring shoes, cape. Obviously the classics like jetpack too, but as far as equipment item that we can get normally, uh, I'd say green gloves probably number one for ability to maneuver uh, than, than spring shoes or maybe even cape, but uh, cape's a little different because it's back equipment. Just with the way things are generated, um, I would say having spring shoes makes it about three times less likely we'll need to use a rope. Maybe even more than that. It fell too quick here. Pull this back. Of course you got me there. Of course. Like just that section right there with the the quad guy and this one is like pretty much impassable if i don't have the spring shoes there's another way around but not an easy one there's two Yeah, he did go over the side. That's definitely happened. Pretty good. I'm gonna clean this up too. Let's go. Get over here, you oversized turkey. Hey, good luck with your rotator runs, pinball wins. Good luck with that. Tough challenge. Okay, let's not. Very convenient place for an exploding frog. I don't... The X is just right here. That's, uh... That's beautiful, man. I was getting worried because I was, wasn't sure where the exit was, but oh, there it was. Right where I wanted it to be. Next to the last orb. Haha, <laughs> pitcher's mitt got me there. 
Okay. It's a tough timing. Gotta work on that one. I have better luck with the back whip on there. That whip I just did on the lizard was um, inappropriately dangerous. <laughs> I had no reason to do that, and if I got hit by the lizard instead of whipping it, it would have fell in that little spike bit. Get the bat down here and do it. Oh, no, I can't. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna be able to get to this either way, so let's just use a rope. doing Daisy this kidders right now what a bad kidder the best bad kidders I've ever owned all right pretty easy exit here just gotta find the the orbs there's one there's all three orbs, in fact. Whoa! Excuse me? Okay, lava problems as well. I mean, don't be rude now. The cheese sauce gone over the edge yet is the question. That's fine. Not yet. Soon, though. Oh, man. I know the difficulty feels amplified because the uh, low equipment, but I feel like this Cosmic Ocean has had some pretty, uh, pretty significantly challenging levels. Some really weird temples and neobabs and things. Okay. Uh, let's let this exit get cleared out by the spark trap. Yeah. Gigantic neobab. Hope we just run into the last orb there. That's gonna happen, right? Well, bombs? All oh, fudge. But where, though? In here, right? Oh, what the hell? I think I see it down here. I'm gonna start using some bombs, though. Yeah, okay. 
Ooh. Get me out of here. One got the uh, the heart rate going. That was a tough level. We definitely used a bomb at the right spot. We're over triple our bomb count entering Cosmic Ocean, so we're, we're managing well enough. All right, if we complete this level, it's a uh, PB for our current challenge. Pretty sure, anyways. It's 736. 7.30 something. Hmm. Great. We got glasses. Okay. Glasses don't actually do anything here. It's all right. They look cool. Glad that actually got sorted out right there. All right. ready to commit a rope there. Tempting rope. Does help with octopus, that is true. It's one use of the uh Okay, the timing on that was just too weird. Alright, one more level, then I'm taking a short break here been a pretty wild set of levels. Ooh. 
All right, this is definitely our PB for this challenge. And after 7.38 here, I'm just going to stand up, stretch, cool off for a minute. Let's calm down, stretch out my hands. Encourage you to do all that same stuff, too. Our ads are also about to play. Foot and play. Thanks. It does support a lot. If not, totally understand. Regardless, we'll be back in just a few minutes here for some more Spelunky 2. Break crust and chain challenge. All right, I'm back. So about 30 seconds here till we clear. Feeling uh, much calmer now. Had that really sketchy uh, couple levels. Always good to take a moment to uh, uh, collect yourself after those intense moments. Been a very fun run so far. For the bare minimum uh, yellow cape run. The double bomb boxes we've found, the 24 bombs, is super useful. So we've been operating okay without that. Makes me hopeful for some other runs going okay at low bombs. Only entered Cosmic Ocean with seven bombs on this one, and uh, we were able to replenish. All right, here we go. Take that. Also want that. Can I get to it? Hmm. Yes, I can. 
And that's orb three. There are some unknowns on the top of the level here, so I'm gonna hold off a second on popping that. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, you know, I might actually leave the Matic uh, be here. It does say bombs, but the whip is much better defensively. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Though I do think that's a good item. And let's say I was at six bombs, I would absolutely pick that up and I would be very happy about it. But at 28 bombs, we'll take the utility. I'm gonna let this clean up. I wanna see it either come back this way or have landed. out down here with that guy. Power pack. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to trade out K for power pack right now, but if I had no back equipment, I would 100% put power pack on. Power pack's pretty slapping. This is definitely a level. Okay, now I know. this floppy fish out of here, dude. Listen here, floppy fish. Whew. Oh, he's flopping right now. This guy's flopping too. Everybody's flopping around. Stop flopsing. You flipped your last flop, you son of a gun. both the other orbs here. Okay. See the exit as well. A really tough jump. All right, I concede.
ね。That level had me on edge. Very wary of that last level. to unpack here. Can't believe I got that jump on the first try. That's a real technical one. Fine. assume that the orb is somewhere above the exit here. There it is. Hey guys, again, uh, in the coming uh, week or so, we're going to have over 30 new animated emotes on the channel. Keep an eye out for those. They're going to be pretty cute. 40, 49, excuse me. 49 new animated emotes. 49. So almost 50 then. Okay, 40 then. Well, then we're all on the same page now. So more than 30, but less than 50. 40 it is. More than a few, that's for certain. A bomb in here? I'm gonna. Get down here. Like an area top left I haven't seen right now. Check it out. There it is. Ooh, let's not do that. 
Oh, I don't like this. What? Oh, man, this is borked. Okay, there it is. Unborked. Okay, it's not a good timing for us, I don't think. Oh, it is. It is. Saw poison right above us here, indeed. Not going to the outside, though, only the inside. Feel good about that toss, but I made it. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go. They're gonna have bad time down there. You've been squashed. Dog. Alright, freeze gun returns. Oh, that makes them not explode. That's kind of cool. Like, I knew that, but I hadn't experienced it in a long time. Good, good info. You've been spoopy chilly. not very wide but it's got it's got some stuff going on it's got to be up here by the this guy for sure oh didn't fall far enough to break some gun jump tech here as well why not oh dude what is what is happening right now they were 215 I am concerned about time at the moment. Yeah, 
Okay, no, this is the other side of the... Where is this orb at? There it is. Oh, boy. Well, every level's a PB here. Let's keep it going. All right, Freeze Ray was fun, but mm, uh, Whip is very useful. I like Freeze Ray on Neobab for the UFOs. See that. Freeze Ray would have been helpful right there. Oh, that was a, a very heroic jump by that grub. Just probably going to set out some arrow traps here. Danger, danger. spot I haven't seen yet. And there's my orb. Imagine that. Threads right here. Let's go. This level's bananas. Fair. Also, I don't think critical. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm not going to influence my rate of play. I'll still try to collect blood and maybe pick up a boomerang, but... Um, 42 health a lot. Let's 
two, huh? Okay. Let's run on the right hand side here. <laughs> Got it back. What a guy. Okay, where is this orb at? Okay, there's lava going over the side too. That's actually really bad. Yeah. Okay, maybe not as bad as I was imagining, but still pretty bad. Oolad. All right, here we go again. Okay, okay. Parachute falling is actually very useful. Really? Is that it down there? It is. A spicy two levels after getting poisoned. Wow. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Curse boots. This level looks pretty big. through them. <laughs> Dude, this run is the real Spelunky deal. That's fine. See the orb up here? It's right next to the exit. Hmm. Okay, we can get a boomerang here. A <laughs> cow bomb instead of rope.
Okay, there's two. There's that. Where's this guy? There we go. Give me that. That's cool. I didn't realize the boomerang did that. Interesting interaction with the Olamites. I don't know if I've seen that one before. Yo, Thurnburglar, thanks so much for 30 months. Much appreciation. Thank you. Where does that put the jelly? Like, bottom left, maybe? No, right here on the top. All right. the rest here. Hmm. A bit of a weird, and I think it's on the bottom right ish. There we go. I just heard orb go off. Fair. Woo! That's it. <laughs> what a run. What a great run of Spelunky. 759. That's definitely our new PB and did it with pretty low bomb and equipment. Feels nice. PB for this crate crust and chain challenge, anywho. That was a fun attempt. Just thinking back on the run that was. Yo, Hassian, thanks so much for that 1,000 bits. Appreciate your generosity, dude. Thank you. I feel like if we can get that run going, pretty much any run has a chance. The cape was massively helpful, but we would have been operating okay without the cape. Would have been tougher for sure. Yo, Skirples, thanks for 114 months, man. Six more for a decade. Thank you.
I think the most surprising part about that run for me was uh, how many temples and neobabs we had and the size of them too. There's only two or three levels in that entire Cosmic Ocean set that were kind of gimmies where you just like, saw the orbs and got to the exit. Uh, it's going to be widely a wide variance because they're uh, so randomized in size and configuration, but it's got to be on the harder end of seeds there that I've played. So very promising for future attempts. Well, all right, buddy, that's going to conclude our show today. Thank you so much for the great time. Wonderful company. Awesome conversation was uh, awesome to get these crate crust and chain challenge attempts in. Uh, got our PB right there. 759. I'm sure we'll crack a 798 uh, without a jetpack for sure. Though we did have a jetpack chance today as well. We will be back at it tomorrow. I do hope to see you there see you in the afternoon. Appreciate you all very much. Until next time, keep it dapper and be good to each other. Have a great one.